Hello and welcome to Bio Affairs. So today we'll be learning about multiplicity of infection. It is a or a short form of this is MOI, very common term, mostly used when you are infecting a cell, when you are infecting a cell by bacteria or viruses. Okay, so you need a proper calculation of the viral titer, which needs to be applicable to any other animal cell or the bacterial cell. If you increase this amount of MOI, there will be immediate lysis of the cells and you will not get the perfect result of the experiment which you are performing. So after watching this video, I think you will be very clear with the MOI calculations and you will never face any problem in future. So let's start. So if you consider the definition, it is nothing but the ratio of infectious agents to infection targets. Okay. So, viral particles in many cases you can define as the target cells. Okay, viral particles to target cells in a defined space such as cell, culture, wall, you can say, or bacteriophage, bacteria in a culture environment, it may be a solid culture, it may be a semi solid culture in agar medium for bacteria and bacteriophage, I am telling, or it can be a uh, liquid broth culture where bacteria and bacteriophage is present. So, we know that bacteriophage infect the bacteria okay so bacteriophage is a virus in case of animal viruses which infect the animal cells in that cases there will be the culture of the animal cells will be done in a flask in a liquid medium in a layer basis layer based cell culture has been done and there you have to apply the virus which you need to apply for some experiment and you have to need the calculation for the MOI you have to get it out so let's have a simple i have written a very simple way so that you can understand each step very easily so what i have said that moi is a ratio of infectious agents to infection targets right so infection agents by infection targets now on the infectious agents who can be an infectious agent a virus okay a viral particle or a bacteriophage in case of a viral example Target cells, it can be a bacteria against bacteriophage or it can be any uh, virus for animal cell or you can also um, consider plant virus and a plant cell. Okay, so that depends upon the experiment which you are performing in the lab. Now, this ratio considers the multiplicity of infection. So, for example, I have written here, if you add 10 million viruses to 1 million cells, it can be any cell, bacteria, or animal, or plant. You would have an MI of 10. So it's a very simple calculation: 10 million viral particles by one given to 1 million cells. Okay. So suppose you need a MI of 1. Here I have taken 10. Now you need to have 1, only 1. What will you do? You will have 1 million viral particles applied for 1 million cells. So, in theoretically, you can say that a one virus infecting a one cell. Now, in case of MOI 10, a 10 viruses infecting a particular cell. So, per cell, according to theory, we don't know actually what is happening there. But according to theory, you are applying 10 viral particle against one cell. Okay. So, this is the very important part. Now I'll show you some a very simple calculation. So you'll be understanding more and your concept will be cleared more. So let's do a quick calculation. Now le uh, let's say you want to achieve an MOI of 10. Okay, you can say 2, 3, 4, 1, anything you can do. In a certain condition, if the virus titer is, which virus? The virus you are going to apply. You have the stock of the virus. Now you have the stock of a virus. It may be in a uh, liquid solution, <clears throat> in a type of liquid solution or in a buffer condition. There you know that the uh, viral titer is 1 into 10 to the power 6 PFU per ml. Now what is PFU? PFU is the plaque forming unit. It can be easily deduced from the number of cells here. Uh, are there or the plaque are there not cells actually here pfu means uh, plaques are formed by the virus on the particular cell from where you have isolated 
So a simple calculation you need to understand that is MO is equal to virus titer and virus volume by total cell number. So here the virus titer 1 into 10 to the power 6 PFU plug forming unit into X amount of ML that is the volume I need to uh, this I need to get it out from the calculation. This is the I have and the, this is the total cell number that is 1 10 to the 5, cell, 5 cells. Now through a simple calculation you can understand that 10 to the 5, 10 to the 6 there will be a division and 10 to the power 1 will be there. Then X amount of ML we need to get it out. Here the MOI is 10. I have already told you that I need to have a MOI of 10. So MOI is equal to 10 is equal to 10 to the power 1. So into the X amount or X ML of volume. So if you divide this you will get a 1 ML of volume required from where from this storage to get the MOI of 10 for this particular of the amount of cells. So if you change the things calculation will be changed. So this is a simple calculation I hope you understand these things MOI is nothing but the titers and the infectious agent to infection target matters. So I hope you are clear with the MOI section if you have any kind of doubt you can reach me in the telegram as well as in the comment section. Thank you very much.